This is a great question. The Stock Act in 2012 passed by Barack Obama's administration actually mandated the whole uh, congressional financial disclosure stuff. So why am I building these sites when it's already available on like .house.gov and senate.gov? So the easiest way is to just show you what currently exists. And this is what the government spent money on us building. So I'm going to link this in the uh, in the description so that you can go and see the sources. They're linked on the main sites anyway. But like, let's look for today's disclosures, I guess, or maybe if there are any. Yeah, look, there aren't, aren't any. Okay, well, let's go search again. Okay, well, I know there were some yesterday. So let's change this to a 14. And we'll just search reports. And now you'll see, okay, we know... Who disclosed? Okay, great. Let's look at one. Holy shit. What is this? This looks like absolute trash. This is unreadable. How the hell am I supposed to know? Okay, let's try another one. Okay, this one's in a nicer format, but now I have to go through every item. Also, let's keep in mind, this is a short disclosure. Some of these can be up to 400 transactions long, multiple pages. It can take forever to comb through them. And you still, at the end of the 14th page, have no fucking idea what just happened. Okay, so I'll show you what goes on for the Senate. Uh, I'm sorry, the House. This is disclosures-clerk.house.gov. Uh, you got to actually find it and you go to financial disclosure forms and then you can download them all in a, basically a giant uh, XML file or they have a search form it looks something like this. You just type in someone's name. You also got to specify a year. Okay, great. We have all of Michael McCall's transcript transactions. Now. Wait, what the shit? What is this? That's not in a nice format. Yeah. So while the House has access to the same exact tool that the Senate has to like digitize and like put their trades in a nice format, they just say fuck that and they don't use it at all. And they actually file everything by PDF. Uh, which I hand transcribed. I think I, to date, I've probably transcribed over 10,000 trades. So back in like March of 2020, I believe, uh, they had this big investigation that no one was found guilty of for insider trading in the Senate. It's kind of what actually kicked off this whole idea that senators are insider trading. Well, I was really interested in how can I just make this information more available? Because you can't download it. There's no place to download it in a CSV or JSON if you're a program. And so that's what started these two sites. You just get nice, pretty charts. You can look up information by representative, ticker, state, and also more importantly, get the data because I'm not the smartest person, but other people are much smarter than me and they can use this information to make really awesome deductions and they have. Also, it's totally free. Um, if you see anybody that's actually charging for this information, that's a felony.